non-emergency broadcast system, the non-emergency webcast system. I'm Brian Mallow, but you know that because you're following me. Quit following me. Hey, are you following me? Uh, I'm in Lindau, Germany, and this is really a test. Um, I'm gonna be working here all week, and I'm testing out some new technology right now. It may not appear that I am, but I'm testing out some technology right now and hoping that it streams in good quality with the German SIM card I have and the, uh, the bandwidth I have wherever I am. And look at that view. Um, so this is a test. I'm going to, if I say I'm going to keep it short, that's almost a guarantee that I won't. But um, <laughs> I know myself. You don't have to tell me. I know. So look at that. Here we go. I'm in this uh, beautiful little medieval town called Lindau, Germany. It's an island on Lake Constance. It's kind of funny, over the years, I've been coming here, I've had a relationship with this meeting here for seven years now. Uh, one year was virtual, so uh, I've come here six times and spent uh, about a week each time, or nearly so. And it's always been kind of funny to me because when I, tell people about it not everyone's heard of the town in Germany it is a little it's kind of a touristy town and I'm in a very touristy area I mean that's a silly thing to say because it's so so you could probably walk the entire perimeter of this town in I don't know an hour 45 minutes I don't I don't I don't remember but it's pretty small uh, so the entire place is uh, a tourist destination but I can't tell you how many times I've told people, I've mentioned this, Lindau, Germany, I say it's an island and people go, Psh, there's no islands in Germany, but you're wrong. In fact, I was just informed that up north in Germany, there's also uh, some islands and lake, but there's a very large lake, Lake Constance. And in fact, so once you get out of this harbor, um, if I have this right, what we're seeing over there is Austria, and what we're seeing over there is Switzerland. Um, you might not be able to see it right now, but trust me, it's possible. And um, so it's like very southernmost Germany. And in this little town, for those of you who haven't been following me for that long, for 71, this is the 71st annual Lindau Nobel Laureate meeting. And for over 70 years, this organization, they're not the Nobel organization uh, in Sweden that grants the Nobel Prizes. They're a separate entity entirely. And they've been putting on this meeting where they invite as many as a couple or few dozen Nobel laureates and as many as five or 700 young scientists from 80 to 100 countries um, to spend about five days in not only scientific sessions but with picnics and meals and uh, on the last day there will be uh, well a cruise ship kind of like that one back there and we'll go to a, a, another island called Mainau Island and for the final day of the meeting. But uh, what it's about is mentorship. The motto for the meeting is educate, inspire, connect. And it's really about, it's not about the lectures. Every laureate gives one short talk and it's not always a high level talk. Sometimes I remember, uh, Danny Sheckman is an Israeli Nobel laureate in chemistry, and he once gave a talk on the science of bubbles. Uh, so it was a chemistry talk, but it wasn't exactly his research. Um, but some of them will be kind of high level and about their research. 
the annual meetings are themed. So this year is a chemistry meeting, and next year will be a medicine physiology meeting, and then a physics meeting. And every five years, they mix it up. They have all of them in one meeting. And also every few years, every three, that's a few, there's an uh, economics meeting, and that's taking place later this year at the end of August, and I'll be back for that. It'll be my first economics meeting, but I've done physics, uh, medicine, and, and chemistry. I guess this is my second chemistry meeting. Second? Yeah. The math gets confusing. It's very, once you get up there close to double digits, math can be hard. Um, forgive me. Um, so anyway, this is a beautiful place for a meeting like this. Um, it's small. There you go. Look at, can you see that balloon? Let's test the resolution. <coughs> Let's see if that shows up on this. Usually what I do is stream using the Facebook app directly to the Facebook page of the meeting, but this year I'm trying something new. And this, I tested it from home, but this is my first test here on the island. Um, here I'll teach you one German word. I don't know a lot of German. Oh, and I wonder if it'll be backwards, but insult tour. Insel is island in German. Oh, I just heard the sound of breaking glass. So, unfortunately, if I were just using the Facebook app, then I would be able to see comments and interact with them, which is great when I'm alone. Um, but what I'll be doing here mostly is interviews. So I'll be running around with a selfie stick and an iPhone, and I'll be interviewing scientists young scientists uh, that are attendees. And I might do some interviews with some Nobel laureates, but I don't always do those live. Sometimes I sit them down and we, we shoot them and we edit those later. I also have kind of a sore throat. And I will be, uh, even though um, in Germany, like many other places, uh, the last time, when I was here a year ago, it was, everything was masking indoors and everywhere. Those mandates have been lifted, although, <coughs> although um, for the meeting, I'm not sure yet if it's the rule or it's likely that, um, or just likely that we had one kind of pre-meeting a special event last night. It was a lecture, um, a Nobel laureate in conversation with someone that wasn't me. Damn it. And um, I don't know if it was required, but everyone was pretty much masked, except the people on stage. And I'm pretty sure, so the meeting mostly takes place inside this, uh, in the Insahala, Insula's Island, Hala, probably Hall. So uh, it's like the uh, equivalent of a, a convention center. It's really lovely. It was only completed a couple years ago. And to enter the building each day, I'm pretty sure you have to have a negative test. So I'm about to get, uh, I have a meeting coming up in a little while and I'm gonna get a, a COVID test. But as crappy as I feel, I don't think these are COVID symptoms. Um, I'm congested and a little sore throat and I think I've just been running myself ragged so um, I don't know if that's a cause of getting a cold but uh, anyway this is a, a really fun place to be and I know some people here there's a, a, a cool musician friend I made last year because he performed as part of the meeting and we hit it off because he lives here for decades now but he's originally from uh, South Carolina, and I currently live in North Carolina. And so that's Carl Frierson, and 
I expect to be seeing him pretty soon. But I told him he has a gig tonight, and he said he was free like right about now. But I said he might not want to meet with me until after his gig. I'm just being responsible. And even though in the hotel there wasn't masking, I decided today when I was feeling particularly infectious that uh, I wore a mask um, and went down and then took it off to eat. I know, we do the best we can. So, um, I guess I could have walked around a little more. That's the one other thing I could have tested. I'm not really in the area where I'll be conducting the interviews, but, I'm not yet sure if this test is successful, I will be streaming to the social media channels of the meeting. And I'm not sure how many channels I have the ability to go to. And if possible, and if they approve it, I'll also go to one of mine, uh, probably my Facebook page. So if not, I'll be uh, hopefully streaming to Facebook and YouTube and Twitter for the Lindau Nobel Laureate meeting. On Twitter, it's at Lindau Nobel. And on Facebook and YouTube, you can find it. You're good. I have faith in you. You can find it, uh, Lindau Nobel Laureate meeting. And so, um, really looking for, I came in a little early because I was already, in London a week ago, and I spent a couple days in Stuttgart, Germany, with uh, an old comedian friend, Bent Washburn, and that was awesome to hang out with him for a couple days. And so I came to the meeting a little early, got checked in, and I'm trying to catch up on my sleep because I was very sleep deprived for a week. And if anyone is out there and listening and knows me, I may have alluded to a kind of a secret and I'll be, uh, I'll tell you about that soon. I had an amazing time in London and, and now we'll only just beginning the meeting, the gig that brought me to town that makes this whole thing possible, made my trip to London possible. Um, so, yeah, the only frustrating thing is in previous years, I've wandered around the island like this with the Facebook app, and I would have been able to see comments and interact instead of just blabbing with no interaction. Um, but it was limited to just Facebook, but I had the interactivity. So, in this case, um, I also believe that when I check this file, it's gonna be higher quality than the Facebook app. But I think that might depend on my SIM card and the bandwidth I have here. So uh, if you got this far, I don't know why you did, but thank you uh, for taking part in this test. And I'm gonna go check out the quality of it. So more soon. Signing off from Lindau, Germany. I'm Brian Mallow, at Science Comedian.